Well, hello there, my friend. Here's Kendris, aka Ronald McDonald, and today we're gonna be playing uh, Would You Rather or either that IO, call it whatever you want to call it. We're gonna talk about questions, answer the questions as honestly and as precise as possibly humanly possible. All right. Um, before we start the video, though. I just wanted to thank you, every one of you, for uh, the likes and the comments on the two uh, music video because it's it's the first time that I've done a music video that I can remember, or like that I've done music video that is like, and that I've done the music for it, or like that I rap. Like I mean, it's it's a first in the sense that from the actual song to the video, we made a big project and it came along and it's and it's really nice to see it just finished now it was uh, a lot of work but uh, it was fun nonetheless and I'm glad I'm really glad for the comments that I've got and the likes it's uh, I really appreciate it um, one thing that I like I don't I don't do this types of let's say acknowledgement or, or thank yous in the music videos themselves for just one reason I think uh, it's just because when you watch a music video, uh, like I feel like you don't want all that extra like YouTube stuff, subscribe, like, share, make sure your friends see it, all of that. Um, it just takes away from what the the experience of that video, like what the that project is. When it comes to videos about games and stuff, I'm, I don't mind just talking about other stuff because uh, it's also like as much as it's about a game, it's also about the channel. And uh, yeah, it's just I'm just happy and just so you know, we have more videos, more like music videos and more songs coming along. It's gonna happen. I enjoyed making them, so for sure I'm gonna make more. But with that being said, small little side line, side note. Um, thank you, thank you. And on that note, let's let's answer some of the really deep, deep um, um, issues, deep rooted issues of our of our society. Right. With the first one being, would you rather have your hands switch for dustpans or have or be sweating jam instead of sweat? I would rather swim jam. I would rather smell swim jam. That is sexy. It's freaking sexy. It's sweet. It's like how like whoever thought about this is an ama is amazing. Just because imagine like whenever you sweat, no, it's there's nothing good about sweating besides like it releases all the like toxins and whatnot, that, that's a good part. But what I'm saying is that what is not good about sweat is that it's freaking sticky, it's it's wet, it's cold water from your pores, from your armpit. And as much as jam all over your body seems weird, it's, it's, it's an easy fix, bro. It's an easy fix, you Hey, come. You, you hungry? Come over here. This area, the yummiest area. No matter who's there, they're gonna come your way, that's for sure. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes, sweat jam. Come on, come on, give it to me. I knew it. People like jam too much to like give away such an amazing opportunity. Dust pants, get out of here, dust pants. Nobody cares. Why? 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 Why would you? Huh? Next! Uh, would you rather not be able to feel any pain or have extremely brittle bones? Okay, whoever made these questions didn't think it through. Yeah. Why would you have brittle bones? You still feel pain. <laughs> like, it's gonna hurt. Breaking a bone hurts. If it's brittle or not, it's gonna hurt. If it's brittle, it's gonna hurt even more. You're gonna break more places. Not feel any pain. As much as it's dangerous because, let's say you could hurt yourself and don't notice at all. Like, maybe you're bleeding or whatnot. But, uh, you don't feel pain. Well, I, I already don't feel anything. Because I'm dead inside, so. Would you rather fight Apollo Creed or 
Fight Ivan Drago. I know who Ivan Drago is. I think I know who Ivan Drago is. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to pronounce myself because I don't know either of them. But I think I would. I wouldn't like to fight someone whose name is Drago. Seems like a like a tough guy. For one week, would you rather eat nothing but duck treats, eat nothing but cat food? Duck treats. Yeah, because I'm a big dog. Roof. Would you rather eat a quarter, eat chapstick? Um, I'd rather eat a quarter and then I would walk around and be like, Hey man, I poop money, bro. I'm rich like that. <laughs> Just one quarter, that, that one time. But I'm still, I'm the, I'm the only human who ever did that. Okay, would you rather have everyone talk to you like a two-year-old or in a sarcastic tone? Oh, that would be... That would get so annoying. And they're both almost the same thing. Because if someone's talking to you sarcastically, it means that they assume that you don't understand what you're saying, I think. Yeah, it's like they take you for an idiot. And being talked to like a two-year-old... At least they're nice. Yeah, talk to me as a two-year-old. Don't use that sarcasm on me. But again, like sarcasm would be funny. But they talk to you, that's funny to me, because they're be speaking stupid when they're like this grown ass man, like you go into the you go into the court for, I don't know for what reason, that's the first example that came to my mind, I've never been to court, uh, I think, that I can remember. But yeah, the judge is like, Mr. Canvas, do you agree? Do you understand, do you understand what we're saying, Mr. Canvas? Do you want me to draw you a picture, Mr. Canvas? And that would be funny. Because not only has like he has stuck to me in that way, but he has to talk in that way. Whoever's in the room with me, they're they're laughing it off with me. Next, would you rather spit at an angry Mike Tyson or spit at an angry Bruce Lee? If angry Bruce Lee, at least uh, you would get well. I would get a lesson from the master. Uh huh. You see how I flipped that? Because an angry Mike Tyson is just, there's no teaching. He was, he was one of the greatest. But Bruce Lee, like, he was one of the greatest martial artists and, like, he controlled his whole body. When Mike Tyson, he punched hard. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not giving, I'm not taking any credit from Mike Tyson. Don't get me wrong. He's an amazing athlete. I'm just saying that Bruce Lee really pushed not only the athleticism from his body to like his mind as well, so the philosophy behind the fighting was a lot more intricate that from what I've seen from the past Mike Tyson, new Mike Tyson is a whole new person. You can pretty sure if you spit at an angry new Mike Tyson, you wouldn't get as much of a whooping and stuff. Would you rather have 50% of your body burned, 100% of your body tattooed? I have my body tattooed. Get that white ink. I want to be white like Michael Jackson, be the second person to pull it off. Just me, just a lot of tattooing. I don't know how he did it. I'm, I don't really care to be honest how he did it. Okay, so would you rather be a vampire or be a werewolf? Oh, would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? So basically, team, team uh, Jacob or team Edward? Hmm. Hmm. Be a werewolf, you get to become a doggy. That's pretty cool. I want to be a doggy. I want to be a doggy. Let me be a doggy. Thank you. Yes, doggy. Would you rather watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? Read Goosebumps. Never did any of them. I'd rather read Goosebumps. I feel like Goosebumps is a classic. Would you rather have no thumbs, only half thumbs, only half thumbs? Thank you very much. Why would you choose no thumbs? That's the only reason why you can grab stuff. You have no thumbs, you just... You can't do anything. I feel like if you want to grab something, no thumb. Let me just do an example right here. This is my water bottle. No thumbs. Right now I have my thumb, it's hitting. Don't, don't think I cut it off just for the video. But I'm saying like, even right now, I'm grabbing, it, I'm grabbing it because my thumb is making a pressure against it. If I had no thumb, like maybe this would be a good example? I kind of worked, but anything else, you can't write with no thumb. I'm pretty sure. Let me try this. 
Oh, you can if you do like this. And that's only thumbs though. It's the same thing. It's just they're smaller. Just like instead of being that tall, it would be like that tall. But you still have fingers. You can do whatever you want with these. Thumbs everywhere. It's the same thing. Only have thumbs. The same thing on having your normal hand, just smaller fingers. Why? Why am I trying to logic, freaking rationalize whatever these questions are? Just move on, man. <laughs> it's not that important. Uh, would you rather only wear re revealing hot pink clothes? Always have to wear socks and sandals. Um. <coughs> okay, that was easy. <laughs> Next question is: Would you rather drink only water and alcohol for the rest of your life, or drink anything other than alcohol for the rest of your life? <laughs> pretty easy oh wait so you don't drink alcohol this is only drink only water and alcohol for the rest of your life well the reason why I said I said the first one is just because I wanted to drink water I don't need anything else got my water right here that's all you need to be a healthy gorgeous person I just like a bunch of water on my shirt now Pretty cool. It's all good. Well, we're, we're all gonna die someday. I almost drowned, just to prove my point. Next question. Would you rather sit on a cold toilet seat or sit on a warm toilet seat? I would rather sit on a warm toilet seat. Only if the warm toilet seat, seat is just like a warmed one and not like a someone else warmed it for me. Okay, would you rather be a content failure or be an unhappy success? How, how does these things even... How is a success... How can you be successful and unhappy? Because for me, success means you're happy. And for me, failure means unhappiness. Well... Failure is just something you go through. Success is like the journey of getting through those failures and like one point actually succeeding because in the end I don't feel like content is happy but I don't want to be unhappy content failure is just cruising unhappy and success being success and un un unhappy success hmm I don't know like why in my mind, success means happiness. It can be like unhappy success. I didn't like this question. It's too hard. Would you rather be a male police officer with a high-pitched voice or be a male police officer with the appearance of an eight-year-old boy? That'd be funny. That'd be freaking funny. You're a police officer. You look like an eight-year-old and they're like, Sir, sir, you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you've said so far, can be put against you. Put your head on the floor, knees behind your back, your armpits, put them upside down, your ears must be equal to the size of your shoes, you're under arrest. That'd be, that'd be amazing. That'd be scary too. Benjamin, Benjamin buttons up in this video. Would you rather cut your hands with a with broken glass or lick a rusty or lick rusty nails? I'd rather not any of them, if I can. I'd rather not. But if I really had to choose, if I really had to choose, I go with just the cut hands. You cut your hands all the time. You cut your hands every so often. Like in a rusty nail, that's put in your mouth and then you can get, I don't know, you can get whatever disease. I don't know what disease you get. It's like the, the rusty nail is like, I feel like the rusty, a rusty nail is like the, the the genesis of all disease it's like you lick the rusty nail that's it you you got you have everything you, you just you just got everything possible that's like doing control a in a folder of disease and you press enter that's exactly the same thing the rusty nail is <laughs> the, the the narnia the the freaking closet to the narnia of diseases that's what it is don't choose the rusty nail just cut your hand a bit you'll survive you you just put a plaster on it 
You know, would you rather lose your preferred hand or lose your preferred foot? This is an easy one because I got legs. Can't be losing my foot. Can't lose my foot anymore. I made a meta statement. A full three minutes and thirty seconds of a of a song just freaking towards having legs. I cannot just give give up. <laughs> Can't do that. But um yeah. I think we're gonna end on that note. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please throw me your thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, please subscribe, be amazing, be great, and be the best you can. And I'll see y'all next time. I love y'all.